Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bella and I am a zero-based cash budgeter from Ontario, Canada. Thank you all for joining me on yet another beautiful spring day. Uh, today I will be cash stuffing $650 between my expense binder and my sinking funds binder. So let's get started with a cash count. Okay, so we've got 51, 52, 53, 54, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 25, 35, 45, 50. So we have $650 today that we will be cash stuffing. And I'm going to start by laying all this out. So what have you guys been doing to enjoy the weather lately? Um, I've been doing a lot of outdoor planting and preparation for my garden. Um, in the past few years, I've had a really bad time with uh, pretty much anything that isn't tomatoes. So this year I have decided to grow some, try to grow some stuff early. So I've got some peppers started, um, green peppers I mean. Um, I've got some tomatoes started, some peas started. Um, and I'm going to let my son have his own pumpkin patch to maybe get a couple dollars uh, in the fall by selling some. Um, he's really in the uh, market for some money making hobby and I thought that would be the perfect one. So uh, I do only have two binders right now. As you see, I've got my pretty purple and pink marbled one and then my not so pretty gray um, marbled one and I actually just ordered another one because I'm going to use it for some savings challenges that I've made. So this is one that I did. It's a $5 savings challenge. I'm sure you guys have seen them around um, and I do still have my 100 envelope challenge going and I do plan on finishing that before I spend too much time on these um, but I thought it might be nice to have a $5 savings challenge too, just because I'm almost, uh, all my $5 envelopes are almost full. So I thought if I had some sort of a way to use those, um, then maybe once it's full, I can put them into my envelope challenge or, um, use them towards something else. I don't know. Either way, I've, I've made this up and now I'm just waiting on the other binder to come in. And I think that's it for updates. So let's just get started. I did, um, I did do my unstuffing uh, video. Um, I did do an unstuffing when I did my budgeting video. So if you check in the description below, I will have linked uh, yesterday's video, which was my budget breakdown, uh, where I show you guys how I decide how much everything's going in. Um, but then I also did my unstuffing where I did my coin count um, when I emptied my change from my buy or from my wallet. I also uh, ended up having a couple extra five dollar bills that I was able to stuff other places, stuff like that. Okay, anyway, so <clears throat> so I'm gonna start with my my expense binder, and um, here we go. Okay, so in groceries, I will be stuffing my usual 150. I was really proud of myself last round because I ended up with 15 bucks left over. Um, there was a lot of really good sales. Pretty much everything I like to buy was on sale, which was pretty cool. Anyway, so 50, 1, 20, 40, 5, 50. And I always do it so it's divisible by two so that I can spend 75 one week, 75 the next. When I have a little extra money, sometimes I'll do 80 one week and 80 the next. 75 is generally my go-to though. Same with for gas. So we got 50, 1, 20, 40, 5, 50. And we'll throw that in with gas. 150 for two weeks seems to be a pretty good spot for me. Sometimes I have some left over, other times I don't. Um, but it seems to be a pretty good spot for me. All right, kiddo. Now, I'm actually going to be changing a couple things, I think, during this, just because my son has already spent pretty much all of his money. <laughs> 
I'm going to put it in here anyway, and I'll figure it out at the end. But yeah, he has um, already pretty much spent that. Um, on fun, I didn't budget. Dining out, I budgeted uh, for $50. And I did that with just a $50 bill. On pets, I budgeted $50. Um, I'm in charge of canned cat food. I'm gonna buy the really big one that's like 30 bucks. And then I have to buy my son a new beta. Um, he does want me to do a whole switch with his tank though. Right now he's got a bunch of guppies because he had a fish that we bought. Uh, actually we were given it for free because it was severely pregnant. And within, a, within like three days of bringing it home, it had like 60 babies. And then by the time I was able to get her out of the tank, she was already pregnant again. So we, we had a second bunch. Um, and then lo and behold, she seemed to have another one, even though there wasn't a male in the tank. So now we have so many guppies. Um, they are really pretty though, I will say that, but um, we are actually taking most of them to the pet store to uh, on Saturday to hopefully sell them back to the store, <laughs> hopefully. Um, and he wants, because I got him an iGlow Marina tank, um, so it's kind of meant for these glow fish that are 10 to $30 each. So he wants me to move his tank back to being a glowfish tank. The problem is that the glowfish kind of suck in terms of their temperament and they'll kill anything that isn't a glowfish. Therefore, um, if we've got guppies in there, they're all just going to be fish bait so or fish food. So I'm going to get rid of those before we move in the mean ones. So that's, that's part of the thing is I'm going to get my son a couple fish. Um, he did want a beta, but that is a big no-no if he wants an eye glow tank again. Um, oh, this is Mocus. Don't mess up my money. You can say hello, but don't mess up my money. This is Mocus. He just turned, well, He we just celebrated his eighth year um, with us. Right? Can you get down? Can you get down? Okay, bye. I'll wait until he's done walking across the table because he's just gonna rattle everything. Okay, anyway. Um, so this is one of the things I need to change. Um, I am, I just realized I was in the shower literally half an hour ago and I had a realization that I am not gonna be able to make it two more weeks without shampoo and conditioner. So um, later on, I did budget $20 for vet and $20 for emergency. And I think I'm going to take the $20 from emergency so this is from this is my emergency money it's gonna go in my beauty because I need shampoo and conditioner my son seems like he's okay for shampoo but uh, I think he's getting low on body wash so I'm going to put 20 bucks in there and get our needs for that um, personal I did budget 20 I always do that good Lord you'd think after what are we five months in I'd be able to figure out how to open and close these <laughs> That's okay. All right, personal, medical, I budgeted 20 as well. That's just because I have a medication. I have to go pick up, let's see, today's Thursday. I guess I could probably see if it's there tomorrow. Either way, it's the, it's the expensive one, so gotta pick that up. Oh, sorry, there's money in here already, so I'll show you. Um, we now have $30 in here. And I think from this point forward, I'm going to consider $30 fully, fully budget or fully packed, fully funded. Ha! I think $30 is going to be fully funded for this because if we need my medication, my son's medication all at once. Okay, well, actually it would be about 40 bucks if I did that. But anyway, I'm probably going to stick to a $30 thing for fully funding that. Okay. And then in my savings binder, so we've got 
uh, vacay. Oh, I didn't even add. So yesterday, which was 5, 10, I added um, 15. I didn't even, okay, I'm gonna say one, what's in there? <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> what is in here? Okay, 51, okay, so 115. I'll just say I added the 115 because I, I think last pay I added 100 and I just didn't write it down because I'm not very good at tracking. That's the honest truth. So 115, so that put it at 115. And then today, which is 511 payday, I'm adding, what am I adding? 75. What is 75 and 115? 90, so 180? 75, 80. Is that 200? No. Okay, anyway, we're going to do 50, 25 that we're going to add in here. I'll just count it and then I won't have to use a calculator. All right, so we've got 50, 5, and a 20. All right, so that means we have 1, 50, 75, 85, 90. Yeah, I think I said that. I, I'm pretty sure I said that. Anyway, so we are at 190 now. <laughs> um, but that is also, um, sorry, 190. Um, I did have $520 that on the 25th of April, I took to the bank and I put it all on my credit card um, because I paid for the hotel for my trip and the airplane ride. So for the four of us for the airplane, it came to $1,310. And then for the hotel, it came to $595. Um, the plane is round trip. The hotel is for uh, four nights. We're leaving on, well, yeah, it's going to be for four nights. So, all right. I probably did the exact same thing with this one. But emergency, we are no longer stuffing. But I will count it for you. So we've got 50, 1, 50, 2, 50, 70, 90, 310, 315, 320. Which isn't too bad. I do believe I took 100 out of here too, though. Yes, I took 100 out of there and I sent it to the bank as well and that went on my credit card as well all right vet we will be stuffing twenty dollars in vet and that will put us at 51 52 53 20 40 60 85 4 what 20 40 60 80 what? 52, 53, 20, 40, 60, 85, 90, 390. Okay, I had no idea what I counted before. That's what happens when I do my cash stuffings at 10 o'clock at night is I just forget how to count. And then once I do count, I just don't retain the number. Uh, gifts, I am not stuffing, but I will count 20, 40, 60, perfect. Um, I don't actually have any birthdays um, coming up until May, June. Mine. Mine's in July. Um, I will be 30 in July. It. <laughs> All right. So then in car, we are stuffing 75. Gosh, I'm almost in need of another, um, what do you call that? Another... You guys, I'm sure you guys are screaming the words at your screen. Um, condensing. Condensing, that's the word. Condensing. That's how it came out. I don't know why. That just kind of happened. Okay. And then this. All right. So, the car I'm looking at, by the way, I am looking at one. I've actually just been watching it on the Honda site, um, my local Honda site, for the past three weeks. It's a Hyundai Tucson, 2017 Hyundai Tucson, and it has 88,000 kilometers, 
and they're asking like around $26,000. Now, if you look up that car, which I'm sure you guys won't, but I'll say it anyway. If you look up that car, you'll see that most places, even dealerships are only asking like 18 to 19,000 for literally that exact car. Um, yes, most of them have like five to 10,000 kilometers more on them, but I don't think that 5,000 kilometers is worth an extra $5,000, you know what I mean? So I'm, I was, I've just kind of watching it and hoping that it doesn't sell because I want to go in and say, I've been watching this vehicle for three weeks now and it has not moved. Um, and so yeah, I've been really counting on people just not seeing it <laughs> for me to get a better deal on it. Anyway, so we got 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 50, 650, 670, 690, 710, 730, 750, 70, 770, 790, 805, 10, 15, 20. Um, I said it. I have no idea what I said. I don't remember what I just said the total of this was, but that's what it is. And um, all of these are messed up. Anyway, I think I said 790. I don't remember what I said. Um, either way, I said it. Um, <laughs> you guys must get really tired of me counting and recounting and counting and recounting. So I'm just going to wait until I edit and then I'll see how much it was and uh, we'll move forward from there. Oh my goodness, get in there. Good lord. Okay. There we go. All right. That seems to be it for my cash stuffing video today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, short and sweet for you today. Um, if you enjoyed, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed. And if you are new here and haven't gotten a chance to subscribe yet, feel free to go on down and subscribe and hit that bell. That's how you'll know every time I upload a video. Um, and let me know if there's any kinds of videos you guys would like to see. Um, just a reminder, I am in no way a professional when it comes to finances. I'm only um, teaching what I've kind of learned. And I'm only, again, teaching what works for me. And the best thing about, or the best and the worst thing about budgeting is that no one way works for everybody. Um, and so if the way I do it is entertaining or is a way that you do it and we're on the same page that's awesome um but i yeah anything you guys might want to see so i can do like budgeting hacks maybe something like that i can do um like how to make a proper grocery list or how i make my grocery lists um stuff like that whatever you guys want to see just let me know in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys on the 19th or the 20th because i have the child tax benefit coming out and I will be budgeting and stuffing that all in one video. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.